Hey everybody, welcome to Sunday Aliens, and look at this beast. I was very lucky, and a great Instagram friend, we'll call him, a social media friend, was selling this in his collection. Now, he didn't actually show this in the stuff that he was selling, it happened to be in the backdrop, and I mentioned if he wanted rid of it, I would take it. And he knows I'm a big fan of the Alien franchise. So he kindly sold it to me. Look at it. It's beautiful. So it is the Halcyon Movie Classics Predator 2 Creature. It is a well-known piece of kit within the Alien Collectors community. It was created, I want to say, late 90s, early 2000s-ish. Ish. And they made quite a few. Let's get the camera to nicely focus on them. So you got the Halcyon 04 Alien Warrior with base and egg. Then you obviously had the dog alien creature from Aliens 3. And then you had the attacking alien. So this is the Predator 2 Aliens, an exciting range of classic movie kits exclusive to Halcyon. And obviously the focus of this one is going to be this box, which is the based on the Predator movie 2. Whoop. The, as they call it, the creature. Now, I am so happy. I would be happy purely for the box to display. And you're going to see this box on display quite a lot when I start doing headshots again. But inside the kit, it's just, it's all here. He bought it and never did anything with it. And I don't blame him. There's a part of me that is saying, leave it like this. It's a beautiful thing. But then there's the part of me that wants to build it. And I feel the part of me that wants to build it is going to win out. That looks like a dreadlock has come loose just down here. But it looks like a clean snap. So hopefully we're all good. But look at it. Put that down for a minute. Then we have the guide. Look how they used to make these kits. The artwork. <laughs> this deserves to be framed on its own. But it looks like we're going to build an arm. Uh, right and left legs. The torso. Stick the legs and the arms to the torso. Uh, where's five? We go from three, four, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we then jump up here. Very weird. So one, two, three, four. Then it goes to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They obviously forgot that the number five exists, which is quite comical. Then there's a whole section on the dreadlocks, which terrify me. Okay, so it's just instructions on how to build it. And then it talks a little bit about painting it. I am so excited to build this. Um, well, I'm probably going to dive into it now and start building it. So I'll stop talking for a minute. At this point, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will have a speed along of me building it. Well, boy. Hey, everybody, and welcome back. Now, I obviously did not record the whole building process. Ended up being a lot more harder than I ever expected it to be. But what an impressive model. Yeah, I've currently got it on base, as you can see. He looks fabulous. It's such a great kit. I can't praise it enough. Now, there are issues with it. As you can see, I've got gaps. There's not much I can do to fix that at this time. I'm going to use something like green stuff or plastic cement that the Gundam kits have. He's got his wrist claws. He's holding a skull with a spinal cord. He's raising his sword in the air, roaring at the sky. Now, I reached as far as the dreadlocks, as you'll see. They are currently not on. He looks very strange without dreadlocks. They are fiddly as anything. So I went online. I spoke to some model builders get some advice. They've told me some tricks that I should do. They've also told me that if I prime this as is and then stick them on, they get better grip. Because as you can see, there's not much for the dreadlock and the glue to connect with. 
So if I can get a bit primer on there, that's going to help no end. So we're going to try that out. So there'll probably be a, a quick follow-up video to this. Maybe I'll show you unpainted with dreadlocks and then maybe fully painted will be the next time you see it. But for now, this is where it's at. And I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see anything particular on it. It's such an impressive model, though. I'm so happy I've got it. It's massive. Make a great terrain piece. I could imagine playing like an alien RPG, exploring a predator temple, and this is a statue in there, maybe. The marines are fighting xenomorphs at its feet. I, yeah, I love it. It's going to appear in the backdrop of me talking because it's going to have pride of place on the alien shelf. And yeah, as always, drop me a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you very soon. Bye-bye.